fuck up out here. Hello, 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 man. The fuck up out right, here. You chill out. And look at the evaluate it from my own perspective. See you so later, bro. See what was going on. You knew what was going on. We did not seven a days, crowd. You they're knew not, what was going on. Literally going we, on. We've been here seven days. Yeah, 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 you yeah, knew yeah, what was going yeah, on. Yeah, we got Uncle Tom yeah, and Scott. Yeah. What's being said there? Demonstrators, as we showed in the video, they accuse the Times Square entertainer known as the Naked Cowboy, as you see, of the one stirring up trouble outside City Hall in Lower Manhattan last month. The performer says there was no ill will, but voiced some concern about the future of civil discourse. Listen to this. Until they get a hold of it. That's what I said, because they're throwing me out. When I'm doing the exact same thing they are, which is just, and I was literally coming here with a happy heart, couldn't wait to see him. You know, like I said, I got rid of the Trump guitar. I'm not trying to instigate. Well, I like Trump, so what? I'm just saying, that's, is that really all there is to us? But either way, it could have it been something positive, yeah. but instead they turned it into like, you know, like I'm like the yeah. big time enemy. Joining us now with this first-hand account of what happened is Robert Burke, also known as the Naked Cowboy. Hey, Robert, good to see you here. Uh, the NYPD, just to bring our viewers up to speed, they've since cleared the encampment of protesters outside City Hall where you were. But what initially prompted you to go downtown and actually pay those protesters a visit? Well, you know, like they say, I said I was the antagonizer. From my point of view, they were antagonizing me because I had just been in Times Square for like almost 90 days of corona where there was no one there except police officers maybe a few nurses and then as soon as everything was coming back because of their threats to break windows and tear up the town and of course that was already going on simultaneously with the occupy city hall so i'm up in times square my lonely little self wanting to entertain people and i knew i heard that there was thousands of people down there protesting so i thought hey i love to entertain people i'd like to Put in my two cents, see what's going on. I'm sort of not running down there to cause trouble. I just wanted to be, I, I'd been to Occupy Wall Street when they had that, and it seemed like a big, and I was like, I know there's a lot of people there. So I went down just to see what's going on. I walked right into the place, and as you said, I actually did it five days in a row. Mm -hmm. I mean, once they told me I had to leave, I felt like it's just not right. Somebody has to stand up for not only Donald Trump, just because they made an issue of Trump. But they have to stand up for law and order and the rest of it. I mean, that's what makes, you know, New York City number one is our, you know, it's a safe place to be. So in my mind, I was going down there. Once they told me I couldn't be there and it was completely unjustified, like, I'm going to come here every day. And you can throw me out every day. But like I told the guy, I'll be here when you're gone. And I went there like, it was only, I don't know what day it was, only like three or four days ago when they knocked them out. I went the next day and just stood there on my own, just for my own personal satisfaction, like, yeah, you're gone. I'm still here. Law and order reigns, and you know, so yeah. much for peaceful protest. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.